Hey, Mom. I have to tell you something important. You're free now. Is everything okay? You got me worried. I can chat now. I'm not doing much at the moment. And of course, I'm always available for you. It's actually nothing to get all worried about. It's not that important. So I finally got married. What are you talking about? Married? Yeah, I got married. That's really all I needed to tell you. See? Nothing to worry about. So, we'll chat with you soon. Um, wait a minute. You can't just tell me you got married and run off like it's not one of the most important things in your life. Also, texting me to tell me? What were you thinking? This deserves more than a text. Mom, it's just a piece of paper and nothing else. It's really nothing to make such a big deal about. <laughs> a piece of paper? Are you kidding me? Wait, wait. Did you say you got married? You got married. Not you're getting married. Yeah, Mom. I said I got married. My girlfriend and I went to City Hall and got married just last week. <laughs> Did you even think about this? Are you crazy? What were you even thinking? You should have at least told us you were getting married. Well, yeah, I knew you would say that, but she really didn't want to meet you guys. So I had no choice but to go through with it without telling you. What? Well, you know, our family are a long line of ministers. And you're the minister's wife and all. So she thought there would be things that we would need to do. Proper procedures and stuff. So she's a bit wary about meeting you guys, because she isn't religious. At all. You guys are old-fashioned, and she didn't want to be told what to do. Like having the wedding at our church. So to avoid all of that, she wanted to get married first before telling you guys. Why would you guys just assume that? I'd never tell you what to do or where to get married, etc. And you? Why are you just doing as she says? It's not like you. You know us. You could have told her that we aren't like that. And that we would never make you do anything you wouldn't want to do. Okay, okay. Calm down, Mom. Nothing to get so defensive about. What's the problem here? We only got married. It's a big deal! You know, if you really have no intention of telling us what or how to do things, it shouldn't be a problem then. It makes no difference whether we get married first and tell you, or tell you and then get married. I can't believe you're getting so angry about this. I don't see the issue with any of this. I mean, I guess she was right. You guys are old-fashioned and super religious. You're being unreasonable here. Anyway, that's all I needed to tell you, so I gotta go now. She's my wife now, so maybe I will link you guys up on a chat message or something so you have her contact info. Wait a minute. A chat message? Come on. Sending me the fact that you got married via text is just beyond rude. But an introduction through text. The least you can do is come home and talk to us. Even if she doesn't want to, you should at least come. Are you kidding me? I'm not going to go all the way out to Texas just to tell you that I got married. Why do I even need to? Because we are your parents, and we deserve to be told and discussed this face to face. You already got married, so we can't do anything about that anymore. But you should at least come tell us yourself and not just send us a message. And until you do, we aren't acknowledging anything. Who would travel all the way there to just tell someone they got married? You know how long it would take. When I left that small town, I told you that I would never be back and I would never step foot in that small-minded town ever again. That's why I married a New Yorker, born and raised in New York. This is home to me now, and it has been for a while now. I live in the city. So I'm telling you again, neither her nor I will ever go back there. Now look who's being unreasonable. You probably think because I'm the oldest child that I would be back someday and take over the church or something crazy like that. But think again, Mom, because that will never, ever happen. I have no intention of becoming a minister. Who would want to leave New York and go back to a small town and a church that is falling apart in the middle of nowhere? We've never thought or even asked you to take over. Ever. Okay, so that's that then. I won't be back, and I will never go back. So maybe ask Meredith and her future husband if they want to take over. 
Well, I guess that's if a country bumpkin like her ever finds a man. And if that man is crazy enough to marry someone like her. Ha! <laughs> Hello! Hoping this is Darren's mom's phone I'm texting. Nancy? Yes? Who's this? This is your son's wife, or your new daughter-in-law, Michelle. I'm looking forward to getting to know you. So, you're Dan's wife. Okay. He did tell me about you, but I really have no interest in chatting or getting to know you at this point. I've never even met you before. Not sure what else I can really say to you. Wow, you really are something. Dan was telling me about how conservative you guys were, but I never thought I would have a monster-in-law as a mother. <laughs> Excuse me? Let me tell you, just to be clear, I have no intention of ever really meeting you unless I really have to. And if you think just because I'm Dan's wife and you're his mom that I will give you respect, big mistake. Is that really how you want to talk to your in-laws? You really need a reality check. You have no intention of meeting your new family. Okay. Talk about disrespectful. Disrespectful? <laughs> really? I mean, to each their own, right? I have my way, you have yours. Nothing wrong with that. Thinking someone is disrespectful is all based on your perspective and assumptions. I don't see it that way. How do you plan on doing a wedding without meeting us once? I'm sure your parents also want to meet the man their daughter married as well. Wait, Dan didn't tell you? We had our wedding just the other day. What? Yeah, with friends only. <laughs> It was so awesome. The ceremony was amazing, and the party was so much fun. I can't believe you guys had a wedding without even discussing it with us. Well, if we had discussed this with you guys, we would have had to invite you. I'm sure you would have had a million things for us to do before we got married. That's why we made a conscious decision not to tell you and just went ahead with the ceremony. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. I've never heard of anyone not telling their parents that they were getting married or having a wedding without even inviting the parents. My parents just told me to do whatever I wanted. I think that's the difference between people from the city versus small town folks. My parents are super progressive. My parents told me I was an adult and I can just do whatever I please. That's your family and that is totally fine and great. But our family does things differently. Obviously, we would never get in between your wedding plans. But we would appreciate a heads up. Look at it from our perspective. Our only son got married without us even knowing about it. That's your issue. You have this small town mentality. Really narrow-minded and conservative. That's why your son doesn't want much to do with you. Dan always tells me that he can't deal with you guys or that town. He says he hates that small town mentality and old-fashioned way of thinking. It has nothing to do with small town or being old-fashioned. It's about doing the right thing. So I would like to meet you in person. You can take my word that I won't say anything about the wedding or marriage. I just want to meet the woman that my son married. That's not necessary. I don't have the time or energy for small town folks. I have better things to do. The nerve you have. Why would I waste my time with my narrow-minded mother-in-law? You're probably going to brainwash me into your religion and your ways. <laughs> I can't have that. That type of energy just doesn't do it for me. Well, your husband was born from and raised by that narrow-minded, old-fashioned, small-town mother-in-law. Oh yeah, but Dan is completely different. He was born and raised there, but then he escaped. Now he always makes me a priority. He's also super handsome and smart. Oh, and he has none of those small town traits. So if you could be respectful with our space and boundaries and just keep your distance, that would be great. We're a very modern and progressive couple, and we want to keep it that way. And having you in our lives makes it really difficult. Don't even try to change our minds with your nonsense. I guess there is no talking sense into you. Okay, understood. We will make sure we keep our distance from you two. But just remember that this is what you two wanted. Finally, I got through to you. I'll send you my Venmo info in a second. You can send us our wedding gift there. Are you serious? Is there an issue? 
your only son got married. I would think it's the least you can do. Even small town folks give people wedding gifts, no? It's a universal thing. Um, so I just told you, and I agreed with you, that we would never meet you. We're going to keep our distance, so you guys are planning on giving us the same respect, correct? Yes, of course, but that has nothing to do with this. What do you mean this has nothing to do with this? You want us to keep our distance, but you still want us to give you a wedding gift? Let me get this straight. You have no intention of meeting us. You got married without even telling us, much less inviting us. But you still want us to send you a wedding gift. Have you lost your mind? But you're Dan's parents, right? I understand that you might have some concerns and you seem to be quite annoyed. But really, your only son got married. Why wouldn't you want to send him a gift? This conversation is just unbelievable. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, but we are going to be moving into our new house soon. So we would appreciate it if you could help us out with all the costs. Since he's your only son, I would expect you would want to gift him quite the hefty sum. Perhaps a minimum of 10k or so. Plus a contribution to our new home and moving costs. So maybe around 20, 25k or so, right? 20 to 25k? It's unfathomable that you would even ask your mother-in-law that you have never met. Oh wait, that you don't even want to meet for this kind of money. You must have seriously lost your mind. I don't understand why you think I am being so unreasonable. Dan always tells me that country folk like you guys always worry about what other people think. So he said that you guys would definitely send us a cash gift so you can tell your friends how much you sent. Are you kidding me? So, yeah, looking forward to it. You're making my head spin. There's no way we would send you 10k as a wedding gift. Even us country folk, as you call us. And why on earth would you need another 10 to 15k to move? Seems oddly expensive to us small-town country folk. How would you know? Well, in our area, rent is about $1,500. Even with first and last month's rent and moving costs, it shouldn't be any more than, say, $5,000. So you understand, right? We are country folk, so we will send you what we think we should send you. You must be joking. That will hardly cover anything. Also, because we're small town people, we have no idea how to use online banking. So we'll bring the money to you in person. So send us your address, please. Fat chance. You'll never have to see us or talk to us after that. So just let us bring you the money, say hello in person once, and we'll be on our way. If you let us do that, although it is completely unreasonable, we'll give you a wedding gift and help you out with your move. Over my dead body. I already said this once, so let me tell you again. There is no way I am ever going to meet you. And you think I am dumb enough to send you our address? Come on. There is no way you will leave us alone after that. Of course we will leave you alone. No matter what, we're family now, and I will respect your wishes. I might want to send you a Christmas card. Or in case there's an emergency, it would be good to have our son's address. OMG! <laughs> Christmas cards? Who sends those in the mail anyway? It's 2022. Send us a text or an e-card. I guess you guys are way too old to even understand what I'm talking about. Home addresses and information like that, you don't pass it out like candy these days, you know. I don't want a stranger knowing our info. Who are you calling a stranger? We may only be related because you married our son, but we're family now. Family? Are you crazy? I married Dan, not the family. You guys are total strangers. Strangers. I don't remember seeing you or anyone else from your side of the family at our wedding. I married your son, not you. <laughs> so why would I even tell you our address? That's private information. I don't have a son. What are you talking about? Someone who gets married without telling their parents they got married and didn't even invite them to their wedding isn't my son anymore. So forget about a wedding gift, and forget about us helping you out on your move. Go ahead and do as you please. 
<laughs> this is too funny. You're so angry that you've stopped acknowledging that you even have a son. <laughs> Are you saying that you want to cut all ties with us? Just because you're so stubborn and angry. So crazy. <laughs> As dumb as you are, I'm glad you still have some sort of comprehension skills. We don't ever need to meet you or see you. Please don't contact us anymore as well. Okay then. I have no idea how we got here, but... I'm kinda glad we did. I'm super happy that we won't have to ever deal with you guys again. <laughs> okay, so that's all. Bye. Hey mom. What is this? I at least deserve an explanation. Sorry, who is this? What? It's me, your son. I don't have a son. Who is this? You're still on about that. I heard about your conversation with Michelle last week. She told me about cutting all ties. But all jokes aside, Mom, this is serious. I heard you sold your house and all the land and moved to Florida. Oh, wow. I thought we weren't family anymore. I'm surprised you even know. One of my friends from school told me. I told him that I got married and that I would never return to my hometown again. And then he was like, Well, yeah, your parents sold the house, so why would you, right? Oh, I see. That makes sense then. What do you mean? What's going on? You sold everything without even discussing it with me? Why would we need to discuss it with you? Someone who didn't even inform us they were getting married has no right to even say that. What? They are redeveloping the area, and they asked us to sell our land. They came to us a few years back. And it was perfect timing because Meredith got engaged. What? Timing was right, so we agreed to sell everything. We also wanted to give Meredith something for her wedding. She's our only child, and we aren't getting any younger. Wait a minute. This is a joke, right? Wait. Meredith got married? No one told me this. Well, you never came home, so we didn't have a chance to tell you. Even when we told you we had something important to tell you. We asked you to come home so we could tell you in person. You never did. Yeah, but you could have easily messaged me or even called me. Even if you couldn't do it in person. You should have at least let me know. Well, yeah, but you know... Your dad kept saying that this wasn't something we should discuss with you by text message. What? So we never ended up telling you about Meredith's wedding or about selling the house. And how much did you end up selling it for? You were able to move to Florida, so it must have been quite a lot, right? He must have gotten quite a lot of cash for it. You should have at least told me that. Well, yeah, it was a lot more than we had imagined. We were able to give Meredith a good chunk as a wedding gift, and we were able to pay for her new house. You bought a house for them? Are you kidding me, Mom? You bought them a house? Well, yeah. She's our daughter. We want to do something for her. What? When I spoke to her, even your wife said it's only normal for parents to want to gift their kids something when they get married. Well, yeah. A wedding gift. That I understand, but... Buying them a new house? That's too much. This is totally unfair, Mom. What do you mean, unfair? What's so unfair? No matter how you look at it, it's totally unfair. I'm your oldest son and you didn't give us anything. But you give my sister a big cash gift and buy her a new house? That's totally unfair. You completely abandoned us because you were so embarrassed of your family and your hometown. Your sister, on the other hand, never abandoned us. She was never embarrassed of us. She always came to see us. So naturally, we wanted to help her out, too. It wasn't like it was intentional. It was just what it was. What do you mean? It wasn't intentional? It was just the way it was? That's just cold, Mom. Unlike your wife, who never even came to say hello and who we have never met. Meredith's husband came to see us even before they got married or even engaged. He always came by to say hello whenever he had the time, sent us gifts when he couldn't, and constantly kept in touch with us. If you think it's unfair, learn a little bit from your sister and her husband and then talk to me after that. You're being completely unreasonable. Okay, great. I am a bit busy, so need to run. 
Your dad has taken up surfing, so I need to go pick him up now. Dad surfing? You know your dad is from Minnesota, so he's really excited to be living near the ocean for the first time. Since we moved here, he's at the beach every single day. I heard you spoke to Dan. He told me everything. I think what you did was totally unfair. You favored Meredith and her husband. That's unfair. You should be buying us a house as well. We wanted to buy a house too. We didn't want to be renting one. Excuse me? We won't ask for much. Just a mid-range condo or something. Um, Michelle? I thought we were supposed to be keeping our distance. That's what you asked for and that's what we promised you. And besides, why would we even think of giving our money to a stranger we have never met before? Well, I can make an exception this time and come meet you. What? Make an exception? You're in Florida, right? We should totally come visit you guys. Of course you guys will pay for our trip, right? Oh well. You are really something. You never fail to surprise us. We have no need to see you. Actually, we prefer not to meet you. So please, as discussed before, don't contact us again. Hello! Long time no chat. How has everything been? What do you want? Well, I have something to tell you. We just had a baby the other day. What? Really? I'm sure you want to meet your grandchild, right? If you send us a gift, you can totally meet her. Excuse me? I can use the rest, too. So we can come see you in Florida. You can take care of the both of us, mom and baby. Uh, yeah. Thank you, but no thank you. What? You don't want to meet your grandchild? She's your son's daughter, you know. Yeah, don't think that a grandchild will change anything. We haven't even heard from you in three years, so what do you even expect from us? How can you say that? I know everything. I know that you've been helping your own daughter out with everything. You bought her a house. And on top of that, I heard you constantly send their kid gifts. That's completely unfair. Well, of course we are going to help them out. They help us out, too. And more importantly, they are family and keep in touch with us and ask us how we're doing. That's why I'm telling you we're going to let you see your grandchild and I will even let you take care of both of us while we are there. And Dan's your first child. Of course you have a soft spot for him. Plus you guys are country folk. Your oldest is always the most important. I know you moved to Florida and all, but once a country folk, always a country folk, right? I'm also sure you're going to come crawling to us for help once you're too old to take care of yourselves. So making the effort to get on our good side would be good for you in the long run, I would think. Look who's old-fashioned now. Thinking we would go to you for help when we get older. Are you sure Dan's country DNA hasn't rubbed off on you? <laughs> huh? We may be conservative and old-fashioned to you. But we never thought of getting our kids to take care of us when we were older. We didn't want to burden either one of our kids. So we've already put a deposit down at a senior retirement community. No kidding. We have enough savings for ourselves as well. So we really don't need anything from you guys. We've taken care of ourselves, so no need for you to worry about us. Yeah, but a senior retirement home is lonely and full of old people. You will lose your minds and get lonely. We can live with you and take care of you. New York is way more convenient than Florida, so why don't you come live with us here? There are good doctors and everything is so close. What are you talking about? Live with you guys? You wanted nothing to do with us. What happened? There must be a reason. Otherwise, why would you even contact us? Um... Dan lost his job and everything is a mess over here. What? COVID really hit his company hard and he was let go. He said he would find another job before we had the baby, but it's been difficult. There aren't many jobs out there that suit our needs. Yeah, well, that is horrible. It must be really difficult. It's been super stressful for us the past little while. 
Financially and with the new baby and all. So, we would really appreciate your help. Uh, yeah. Would love to, but sorry. Remember we discussed this a while back? We lost our son a long time ago. Are you still going on about that? In our minds, we have no son anymore. You wanted it that way. So he really only has you now. I know it must be hard, having just given birth. But women are a lot stronger than you think. Especially now that you're a mom. Come on. Wait a minute. You're actually going to walk away without helping your own flesh and blood that's in need? May I remind you that you were the one that wanted to cut ties with us. That's unfair. Literally, I don't even know what you look like because we've never met before. I'll talk to you later, stranger. I'm sure you'll be a great mom to your baby and a supportive wife to Dan. Right after our chat, I got a series of messages from Michelle. Introducing herself with photos of her saying things like, This is me. It's nice to meet you. Please help us out. There were so many selfies of her, so I forwarded everything to Meredith. Meredith works in the digital media industry, so she's quite the pro at finding things on the internet. So she found Michelle's social media accounts and saw that she was still living quite the life, eating at expensive restaurants shopping at luxury stores. I had thought my son lost his job and they needed our help, but it didn't seem like that was the case. We thought perhaps they were in debt, but we've always instilled good financial lessons in him, so I wasn't super worried. We taught him how to save money to get through difficult times, so I'm sure he's doing just fine. <laughs> 